couple of the rookies showed up. The, the, Will uh, Greedy had a pick. So, yeah. uh, what, what have you seen from Greedy so far? Uh, you know, he makes some mistakes. And, uh, you know, Joe Witt, the secondary coach, was saying that he's a guy that is going to make his made mistakes. He needs to get better. But he's also a guy that just has a nose for the football. You know, some guys, the football just kind of finds them. And, you know, Mac Wilson is one of those guys. And I think Greedy Williams is one of those guys. And that's going to be beneficial. Because if Denzel Ward is as good as we think he is, quarterbacks aren't going to want to throw that way. Uh, he's going to have the top receiver on one side of the field draped. So if Greedy Williams, whose body's a little different from Moore, it's a little bit longer, strides a little bit different, that ball's going to come his way, and he's going to have a chance to get, you know, what if he ends up with five or six picks this year? Maybe he makes some mistakes, maybe he gets beat here and there, but if he's got that nose for the football and can come away with some picks because of the way Ward is playing on the other side, uh, that, that's big time for this team. It also appeared, at least early in yesterday's game, he can tackle a little bit better than people were giving him credit for. <laughs> Maybe that got under his skin a little bit that that was, that was there. I think it did. And we've seen him in camp come up and make some run stops. And that's good to see. Um, he, he didn't, I don't think he actually believed that tackling narrative. I don't know that the Browns actually really mm -hmm. believed that tackling narrative that much. Uh, and certainly early on, he seems to be disproving that. 